There's a whole lot of hoo-ha in this book about how vampires supposedly came and went. They, um, they used a form of hypnosis that gave the people the impression that they had been dreaming. Do you think that might have been what really happened? No, 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 no. If, if Caleb and I crossed paths in anything but a dream state, one of us would have ended up dead. Where were you when you had this dream? It was Heather's idea. We, we went to that creepy place on Spoon Island. Windermere. Yeah, Windermere. That's where I'm going next. Let's go to Windermere. I want to take care of Caleb once and for all. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I, listen, I think I should be the one doing the confronting here. I am the vampire slayer. I was divinely appointed to take care of that stupid bloodsucker. It's me. I go. All right, I'll tell you what. If I find a vampire, I'll let you know. Until then, Lucy, I think at this point you need to accept this guy is not a vampire. All right, you can read all about it right here. All right? This guy is Stephen Clay. He's just a guy who had a psychotic break after his wife died, all right? He made himself believe he's a vampire. He went on a killing spree. No. No, that Stephen Clay is just an alias. That creature's name is Caleb Morley. He wears that ring of an ancient vampire clan. That's where he gets all his power. He's real. He's not real. He's not of a clan. He's not an immortal. He's just a killer, and he is dangerous. I'm going in there unarmed, so I cannot help you. I cannot protect you. Just wait. Who said anything about being unarmed? My name isn't Libby. Sam, I am Sam Morgan. What did you do to me? Where's my son? Where's Danny? Are you safe and sound? As a matter of fact, he's right over here. What did you do to me? I would not harm a hair on his pretty little head. Where not was that he has that many. What did you do? You and I had so much to discuss that I couldn't have you running around. You drugged me. No, not exactly. taken that refresher course in spear throwing at the college. Uh, by the way, that is not a spear. It's a pike. Not very practical. I suggest you go with the battle axe. Where are we going? The crusades? Listen, I know you would prefer a modern gun, but we can't exactly go by your apartment to get yours. No, that's the first place the cops would look. Well, then I guess I'll just have to adapt. All right, look, can we just, you know, get going? The faster we get to Windermere, the faster we can save Danny and his mom. You're not going to Windermere. All right, I'm gonna put you somewhere safe. You're not going anywhere near Caleb. Look, the hell I'm not, okay? I need to face him. He needs to pay for taking my mom. Don't tell me you wouldn't do the same. You know, if, if someone killed one of your parents, you wouldn't be able to just let it go. Okay. Thank you. You fed me. Do you remember who you are, who I am, and who we are to each other? Son, please give me my son. And it's safe. No harm will ever come to him, Libby. Stop. Stop calling me Libby. It'll all come back to you. I'll help you remember who you're supposed to be. Please just let us go. Give me my baby, please. We have a family. I'm your family. I know I didn't always give you cause to believe that. When I slept with Allison and she bore my child. But you, 
You set all that in motion when you took my ring and you made that wish. You shouldn't have done that. Don't you understand? You tore us, you tore us apart. But we have all eternity to put it back together. I've already started to set things right. Oh, by killing Allison? Things have come full circle, Livy. I hurt you. You hurt me. When you ran off and had a, a child with some person. But I will accept your son. If you accept mine. Been apart too long for this reunion to be easy. But I'm patient. In time, you'll remember me. You'll remember us. What are you talking about? There is no us. I am not Libby. I, I've never been Libby. Whoever she is, you must have loved her a lot to go through all this trouble, but please. I can't replace her. I need my son. Let us go. It'll take three times. What are you talking about? Three times for what? Police! And how long ago they cleared out? Clear. Okay. I don't know. The monitor's still warm. I wonder what they were looking for. Stephen Clay was well, not a vampire. He's an escaped mental patient. So apparently he suffered a psychotic break after the death of his wife, Livy. Mm. Well, that explains who Caleb is. Doesn't explain why he looks exactly like John, though. Leave me son alone, please. It would never hurt Daniel. I love him as my own. But then let us go, please. No! 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 Three times, Olivia. Once I've tasted your blood three no. times, no. then all this will come back to you. No, please, no. don't, don't. Please, more. No. And our reunion will become complete. No, please. No. Caleb, come out, Caleb. Let's finish this. We wouldn't want Lucy to get overexcited. That explains how Detective McBain can be in two places at once. And Stephen Clay's dead wife, Libby, looks surprisingly like Sam. I guess that gives maybe just a little credence to Lucy's story. So what are you saying? That lady's right? There are vampires in Port Charles? You to wait outside. You two foot. I am not letting you fend for yourself. You need me. No. Clay has two hostages. I was kind of hoping to sneak up on him. Oh, really? Do you think you can surprise a vampire? That is impossible. Their senses are a lot more attuned than ours. Who needs attuned to senses when you're yelling all over the place, all right? You just gave Clay a chance to take off. His name is Caleb, and he didn't take off. He's still here. I can feel him. Oh, <sighs> First priority is to find Lucy Co, Rafe Kovich, and Detective McBain. Trail's pretty cold. Uh, not necessarily. Now we have a lead. We now know who John and Lucy are going after. Maybe we know what they intend to do with him when they find him. Danny boy. Hey. Hey, buddy. Am I, am I glad to see you? Am I glad to see you? Hey, where's your mom, huh? Where's your mama? Wait, I know that baby. That's Livy's. Uh, that, that, that's your friend's baby, right? Here's what we know. We know Clay was here. He was here recently. The question is, where did he take Sam? I, I, I don't know. You know, he is a vampire. He could even fly. 
Yeah, well, maybe he's a guy and he's just hiding in the closet. <sighs> Buddy, a little scary being in this creepy house all by yourself, huh? You're brave. You know what? I, I think you're right. I don't think he was by himself very long. The fire's still burning. You think Caleb's still here? I think Stephen Clay is hey. still here. Hey, listen. I don't care if you believe me about the vampire, okay? I, I need you to understand and believe this. His name is Caleb Morley. And if we are going to defeat him, we have to use his true name, okay? I'm just very glad that someone remembered to bring all of these. Right. What's Danny Boy doing? He's good, Danny's good. He's good. The question is, why did Caleb leave him behind? And where do you take Sam? Stay with me, Lou. It's only a little farther. We have to go back up. We can't. Yeah. My son needs me. Your son is Please fine. Me. Soon to be my son. Stop! I have to get us out of there. You don't understand, Libby. These people, they don't understand us. They're trying to stop us. I want my son. And you will have your son. When all this is over, you'll have your son as I will have mine. He seems pretty happy. He's doesn't seem hungry, doesn't need to change or anything. More evidence they haven't gone long. No, where? Where did he take her? Think. Think, Lucy, think where. I know. What do you mean you know? You, you, you can't know that. I'm the slayer, you're not. Why, why would you sense it? I, I can't think of it. They're in the tunnels. Wait a minute, so, so there's tunnels in this place? Yeah, yeah, there were always rumors about them when the Castanites lived here. As if it isn't creepy enough. Yeah, I just, I just don't know. If they're there, then I don't know how to access them. Do hey, do you? Passageways, yeah, I do. And most of them end in, in, in brick walls, but some of them are supposed to interconnect. But someone showed me one time that... Here it is. Hey, Rafe, can you give me a hand here, buddy? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Come here, buddy. Come here, bud. Come on, okay, okay. Right here. Just give me a good push, man. Oh, wow. Nice work. Hang on, Sam. I'm coming for you. John's going to find me. Whatever you're doing, you're not going to get away with it. I already have. In the end, you'll be glad. <laughs> you are a sick son of a bitch. You bit me. It wasn't all bad, was it? You'll be able to handle two more times, and then... All of this will make sense, Livy. Who you are, who I am, the life we shared, it will all come back to you. It's gonna come back to you. I want nothing to do with it. Oh, you will. You will. Trust me. No! You will. Because I'm not Livy! You've known since the first time you saw me again. In order for us to live through time bound as one, you must be as I am. You're talking about as you are. It's, it's time, Heavy. It's time for you to leave this world and enter mine. It's time for you to cross over to the other side. All right. Let's go. Okay. Hold on, I'm coming with. No. no. Look, hey, we can't leave this little guy alone, can we? But I need to face listen, him, okay? Listen, you're on my watch now, okay, kid? I'm putting Danny on yours. Okay, but why, why would you do that after what I did? Hey, look, Heather convinced you to, to trust her, right? It's not your fault. Well, I won't, I won't make that mistake again. I know you won't, all right? You hang tough, buddy. Bring your mom home. 
Okay, just wait. Hey, um, listen, I, I took the, this thing out of uh, the professor's office, okay? I thought it might come in handy. Well, what is it, a, a medal? Yeah, it's, it's a medal of St. Michael's. He was the archangel. You see, if you believe the legends, he was the angel that combated Lucifer when he was cast out of heaven. And it means that good always beats evil. People believe it keeps everyone safe, okay? So, listen, I need you to hold on to it a anywhere. Just, just put it in your pocket or, or wherever. Remember, your mother and your father, they are watching out for you, okay? So, just hang in there. Do not forget, okay? Okay, 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 okay. Beautiful. Slayer, can we do this now? Yeah. Rest now, sweetheart. I want you to be ready for the final one. The one that will finally seal our union. I have been planning this so long. I have a beautiful gift for you. And when you awake, you'll be as blissful as I am. Wow. This could use a little track lighting, maybe some heat. Yeah. Okay. Oh, great. What do you think? What do we do? You got an angel watching over us? Yo, Molly. Molly asked me if I was named after an angel. Raphael. I mean, I always thought I was named after my father, but who knows? Could have been deeper than that. Never really got the chance to ask my mom. I miss her. <laughs> so much. I know you miss your mom too, buddy. That's my fault. <sighs> my mom always said, you know, First things first. So I guess first up is an apology. I'm sorry, Danny boy. For handing you over to that Heather lady. I had no idea she was crazy. Okay. What do you think? What do you think we should do? Split up. It's the best chance we have of fighting Sam. Faster that way, huh? Yeah. Uh, hey. Good luck, Lucy. You too, John. Okay. yourself. what it was to give in to me and you did so willingly you made me so happy that's not me it's not me but perhaps the the picture would help you remember but you're not ready yet I'm ready for what what are you talking about <laughs> it's, it's time for you to say goodbye to this life it's time for you to surrender to a peaceful sleep. I don't want to die. Dying. Dying is a word 
used by people who don't understand the possibilities to the to the weak and ordinary dying is the end but to the extraordinary it's just the beginning we are born again into a new and vibrant world full of knowledge and power our minds will merge and we all whisper in ways humans could never imagine and the one thing that we believe denied to us a child living they're all ready to yours and mine together Danny boy? Must be another entrance to the tunnels. John and Lucy are bringing your mom back. It's probably them right now. Finds out she's not Livy. I don't know what he'll do to her. What else can go wrong? I am trying to put out several fires here. In addition to the three prisoners that your daughter helped escape, Heather Weber just stabbed her son. What? Oh, oh. don't. Is he all right? I don't know. We're not going to know for a while. He's at the hospital. I assume that he's in surgery. Wait, I thought Heather Weber was dead. Yes, we all did. But apparently you can't even kill her if you strangle her and throw her in the harbor. Like a cockroach. And this is yeah. supposedly done by John McBain's lookalike? That part of the story might be true. You know this vampire that Lucy keeps ranting on about? I think he's this escaped mental patient, Stephen Clay. Hello, detective. Hello, Stephen. Caleb. Caleb Morley. You look like a, a little bit of Morley in you yourself. Any resemblance is a freak coincidence. No such thing. No, you were... You were fated to be here, to... to watch over Livy until I could come back to claim her. John. You okay, Sam? Where's Danny? Is he okay? He's fine. And your son is fine. Everything's happening just the way I said it would. Get this through your head, all right? Her name is not Livy. Her name is Samantha Morgan. Oh, you're mistaken. And so is she, but only for a little while longer. She's bleeding. It was for a good cause. You bit her? Twice, actually. She could bleed to death. Do you ever think of that? Death is a relative term for me, for her. Not so much for you. Shut up! I'm not gonna let you hurt her again. She wants this! No. You do. You do when you remember and we are together forever. First, I gotta get rid of this.
I gotta get to see him. Oh. Oh. I gotta get to see him. I gotta find Caleb. I gotta keep going. I gotta... Oh. Ow, 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 ow. Oh. Oh, my God. Is, is it really you, Allison? It's me, Lucy. Let me help you. I have missed you so much. I'm here for you now. It's okay. Stephen Clay was a successful rock musician, and part of his stage act was to assume the persona of a vampire. So I see. Now, he, he's, after his wife Livy died, he, he suffered this psychotic break and was convinced that he was actually a vampire. Livy. That's the name that Lucy called Sam. Oh. Practically identical. Wow. Livy Locke Clay. Now, she's been dead for about 10 years. Clay couldn't accept her death, and he went on this killing spree. There were about seven victims. They each had puncture wounds to either their throat or their jugular. They all died from loss of blood. When he was being led out of the courtroom, he was screaming that he's immortal and he's going to come back and reclaim his wife. And this maniac thinks Sam is his wife? Yeah. Oh. I mean, that's the theory we're working with. He was taken to a private sanitarium in 2003, where he disappeared from late October 2011. Late October? He vanished from a locked room on Halloween at midnight. You can't be serious. I know. He may be demented, but he certainly has a flair for theatricality. So uh, I'm assuming that it's most likely that Clay is responsible for the spate of murders that McBain's been arrested for. So can you explain to me how this Stephen Clay looks just like John McBain and this Livy is a dead ringer for my daughter? I know all about you. Do you now? Are you sure? Yeah. You lost your wife, and then you lost your mind to the grief. Olivia's my wife, my one eternal love. Sure, we were torn apart, but I've always found my way back to her, haven't mm -hmm. I, sweetheart? Don't be face. afraid, don't be afraid. Shh. It's almost over. Soon we'll be husband and wife forever. Your wife is dead. And you'd believe anything, and you'd do anything to get her back, but you're not a vampire, and that's not Libby lying on that table. <laughs> Clearly, one of us is delusional, John. I mean, if you're right, there's no such thing as immortality. There's no such thing as fate. The three of us are here by accident. No, wait a minute. How did, how did you put that? Coincidence? But if I'm right, I will taste my wife's blood for the third time, and she will awaken to her true self. She and I will be reunited, and we will claim those two boys upstairs. <laughs> you're not going anywhere near those boys, and you're not touching Sam. I was going to kill you, but I think I'm going to let you watch. Just as he is delusional, John. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> <laughs> it's wrong! 